And this comes as Governor Kemp loosens restrictions for some businesses like restaurants and daycares. This is a new chapter as the state is trying to return to some sense of normal, Aisha. Governor Kemp also announced a pretty big move to curb the crisis. The state received its first shipment of a potential treatment for COVID-19. Hope Ford is live at the state capitol tonight. Hope, what can you tell us about the drug and who's actually going to get it? Well, uh, Georgia received 1,200 vials of remdesivir from the federal government. The drug is not a cure, but it is being studied across the country as well as here locally at Emory University Hospital. Before we fully deploy, we will learn as much about it as we can. The state's public health commissioner, Dr. Kathleen Toomey, and the health department will work to determine how the limited supply of remdesivir will be distributed. Early studies show it can help patients with COVID-19 recover faster. So the FDA authorized emergency use earlier this month, but studies show the drug can lead to some liver damage. At our own Emory University Hospital did some of those very trials, and we will be relying on their experience. Meanwhile, Governor Kemp will allow certain businesses like restaurants to expand operations. We will allow 10 patrons per 300 square feet of public space in restaurants and dining rooms and increase the party size per table from six to 10 people. Child care facilities will increase the number of people allowed in a single classroom from 10 to 20, which will allow more facilities to open. And on Thursday, summer day camps can open, but must follow strict guidelines. Overnight camps will remain closed, as will bars, live music venues, and nightclubs. Public swimming pools, they're allowed to open too, as long as the operators adhere to strict rules. And next week, certain agencies, certain state agencies will start operating with a small staff in person. Kemp says he'll release more details on which agencies and how they'll operate in the next few days. All right, Hope, let's walk this one back. So Governor Kemp says that he made the decision to loosen some of those restrictions because hospitalizations and ventilator use continues to drop. But then later he said we can expect to see the number of cases increase in the state. Make it make sense. Okay, so Kim said that they we will or we may see a sharp increase in positive cases because they're going to start aggressively testing in long term care facilities. Right now, about 20% of the positive cases in Georgia are in assisted living and nursing homes. So their goal is to aggressively test in long term care facilities and then get them help sooner rather than later. All right, thank you so much. Hope for it. making it clear for us tonight.